State students, this is Stephen McWhorter and Galen Howlett here to tell you about an exciting new Android app we've developed. We know that it can be a big hassle trying to catch the apple cart with its super complex schedule and poor website interface. So we've simplified it for you and put it in your pocket. That's right. Remember the last time you got to the apple cart stop just to see the bus pulling away as you got there? Happened to me yesterday, Galen. Well, soon you can avoid such a disaster by checking ahead of time to see if the bus is running early and making sure you're there on time. Really? Can we see that in action? So as we jump into the app, we get our home screen. You can see at the top is a card for my favorite route, Teal. I can change that if I go into the settings and set my favorite route to whatever I want. Mine is Teal, it's my home route, so let's keep it there. Go back to the home page. Now here we have three cards. The top one is the Teal route, which is our favorite route that we've set. It displays the next stop, the arrival time of the next stop, and how many minutes behind the route is. The second card shown there is the nearest stop card. So ASU Rayleigh Hall is the closest stop to me. Um, you can see that purple will be arriving at 2.35 on the dot, pop 105 at 2.35 minute late, so 2.36, and then teal will be coming in at 2.42 it looks like. The object of the home screen is to give the user the most pertinent information possible, so the favorite route they have and then the closest stop to them and make that information real easy to access. Now let's open up the menu and go to our routes page. We're going to get a brief overview of the routes with the information. Click on red route and you get all the stops in the red route. Um, here you got, uh, we got some rounding errors issue, but um, got your miles away, how far away the stop is, the net, when it's going to stop, um, and obviously you just got your whole list of routes for the red route. So let's open up the menu again, um, click on map. Well, we don't have a map yet. At any time though, you can go back home, um, go back to the routes page, click on a different route, blue route, um, see kind of the same type of information. All these stops are right there at your fingertips for every different route. Wow, that looks like a great app. We're hoping the users like it. So how about you tell them about what's going on behind the scenes of that? Sure thing. I'll demonstrate conceptually how we use the idea of clustering to predict bus times. Alright guys, I'm going to talk to you today about the idea of clustering. Uh, first of all, I want to talk about what is a cluster. A cluster is a group of user users with similar goals. So what does that mean? Uh, so you have a group of users that are a bus stop that are wanted by the same route. The way we'll do our GPS prediction is to cluster those together and then monitor that cluster as it traverses throughout the route. Um, but how are these clusters created? When users are close together at a bus stop with similar goals, they form a cluster. The clusters are made of three main components. Clusters have to have users, they need stops, and they need routes. So over here you can see I've made a beautiful design of clustering uh, clustering. <laughs> uh, but So here we have a stop. This is the first stop. And as you see, it, it progresses this way to the second stop, the third, fourth. We see here at the fourth stop, we have a group of users at the same stop with a similar goal. They want to ride on the same route. And so they will form a cluster. We'll call this cluster A. Now right now, cluster B is on this bus right here. And as cluster B traverses throughout this, this, this route, it'll hit the first stop, and then we'll lock that, and then we'll kind of we'll do the difference between what time they were supposed to reach that stop and what time they actually re reached that stop. So with this, we can kind of give an estimation of how, these, how the buses are moving and give a general time estimation. All right, guys, thanks for checking out what we're doing here at As You Ride. And make sure to look for the app in the Google Play Store in the near future.